hello everyone welcome back to my video channel in this video we are going to learn about life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis in the previous video we have discussed the morpho morphology and structure of trichomonas vaginalis including the systematic position habitat and uh, mm, worldwide distribution uh, so now in this uh, video we will discuss the life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis uh, mode of infection pathogenicity symptoms causes and uh, diseases and then at last uh, prevention or control okay so without making any delay let's start with a life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis as i displayed the diagram this is the morphology or structure of the trichomonas vaginalis which is present in the vaginal secretion okay so here the life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis completes like life cycle in a single host okay either in male or female that's why it is called as monogenetic monogenetic i explained this term in the previous video if you really want to know the basic video you can watch that first video of this trichomonas vaginalis uh, uh, don't worry i will repeat that term here once again mono means as in the name indicates mono means single here the parasitic protozoans which requires only one host or a single host to complete their life cycle those are called as monogenetic okay so as i told the meaning here this trichomonas vaginalis will also requires only a single host to complete their life cycle it may be a male or female and this trichomonas is the simplest of all parasitic protozoan because it has only troposized stage uh, usually parasitic protozoans usually have two stages in their life cycle that is uh, cyst stage and troposized stage here but in case of trichomonas vaginalis we can see only the troposoid stage and it infect the urogenital tract here you can observe the word here urogenital tract uro means urine means that is related to excretion okay and genitalia genitalia is uh, is related to the reproductive system so the tract which is uh, include these two that is called as urogenital tract okay this is the parasitic protozoan um, which infect the urogenital tract and coming to the mode of infection here this uh, troposite it cannot survive without the host okay so it uh, it requires a host to survive so uh, um, Uh, so the infection is usually transmit directly from person to person okay and the sexual transmission is the only the usual, usual mode of transmission and uh, here in case of sexual mode of transmission it is like a 90% of show that uh, if you didn't take any precautions this uh, parasitic protozoan is going to transfer from person to person Uh, but in a uh, few uh, like uh, uh, formites uh, uh, like such as towels uh, as been um, implicated in the transmission but very less chances okay and uh, this uh, trophozoite uh, divide by longitudinal binary uh, fission uh, in the uh, favorable conditions and incubation period is roughly about 10 days and trichomonas often coexist with uh, with other sexual transmitted diseases like candidiasis gonorrhea and hiv and babies get this uh, gets infected during childbirth if the mother is infected and usually we know that vaginal ph the normal vaginal ph is uh, from 3.8 to 4.5 which is base uh, which is acidic okay so normal vaginal ph is acidic but Uh, the, when the uh, may, female is infected with uh, this parasitic protozoan, um, the uh, then the vaginal pH uh, is uh, will be more than four point five. Okay, that actually represents uh, chances that the the female uh, is uh, infected by this trichomoniasis. Okay, and uh, so cysts are not formed. That's why trichomonas itself is the infected form. you can uh, look at in the diagram the during the sexual intercourse if the uh, any one person it may be a male or female if any one person is infected with the, uh, this uh, disease so they are going to transfer the um, trophozoites uh, from one person to another person uh, 
and this trophozoite in the vaginal and the prostatic secretions and in the urina okay and it is going undergoes for the multi, uh, multiplication by longitudinal binary fusion um, and this trophozoite you can see in the vagina or uh, orifice of the urethra okay the uh, the uh, this is about the mode of infection or life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis okay and this is the picture of it now we will move on to the pathogenicity let us know what is pathogenicity first so pathogenicity uh, pathogenicity means the, the ability of the um, uh, it is the ability of the protozoans or parasite that causes the disease means uh, you can see uh, the mode of transmission or the sequence of events that is going to Mm, uh, form uh, the sequence of events that is formed after the infection that uh, that oh that all those points comes under the pathogenicity so uh, the first point here is that it is not a invasive parasite okay it is a obligatory parasite okay and this parasite is transmitted sexually okay Uh, it is a obligatory parasite means it cannot survive uh, without the host and uh, it is particularly in infect the uh, squamous epithelium and not the columnar epithelium okay and it is going to secrete the cystin pr uh, proteases adenosines lactic acid and acetic acid which disrupt the glycosin level and lower the ph of the vaginal fluid so as these are going to produce all these secretions So by that our uh, normal vaginal ph uh, should be acidic so as these uh, secretions will produce that disrupt the normal level of the vaginal ph okay that will become a basic which which should have which should have to maintain acidic what it will turns to basic uh, so that will prone to prone to this disease the intracellular edema occurs which is called as chicken like epithelium when you look at the uh, vaginal uh, part you can see there is some edema the uh, like um, bubble like uh, or a pimple like thing that is same like a chicken okay like epithelium we can see and this is the characteristic uh, feature of the trichomoniasis okay and the infection is often uh, uh, asymptomatic especially in males uh, but in females it produces uh, um, vaginitis with a uh, offensive yellowish discharge okay and coming to uh, symptoms here symptoms uh, we can see uh, there may be yellow green vaginal discharge and there will be itching on the inner thighs and there will be painful urination and pain during the sexual intercourse and vaginal itching and strong and uh, or you can say foul uh, vaginal odor uh, looks like a very fishy odor Mm, if the person is infected with this these are the some of the symptoms and when it comes to male usually males doesn't show any kinds of uh, symptoms here uh, but as the disorder uh, is progresses in men uh, they will start to exhibit the symptoms um, like uh, burning with ejaculation and itching or ir uh, ir uh, irritated urethra and there will be painful urination okay and uh, coming to causes this trichomoniasis is sexually transmitted diseases usually by infection with the protozoa protozoan trichomonas which are what are the causes for this trichomoniasis disease this is uh, as i mentioned before it is sexually transmitted disease that is caused by a protozoan that is trichomonas vaginalis okay and uh, when uh, when women get it is from either uh, men or women who are infected but men usually get it from infected human okay and as i mentioned before here the the male uh, is uh, uh, is uh, asymptomatic he doesn't show any symptoms that's why while uh, do, while we were tre uh, treating this trichomonas vaginalis it is compulsory to treat both male and female uh, should undergo diagnosis okay that then we can uh, find the uh, solution for this trichomoniasis otherwise Uh, we don't know who because male uh, will be asymptomatic okay it may be caused from male to female here only testing the female will 
will not give the solution for this uh, uh, disease now let us move on to the uh, diseases here so the the trichom uh, the first one this uh, trichomonas vaginalis causes the disease trichomoniasis after that in males uh, you can see uh, erythritis okay it is the infection of the urethra and uh, there will be epididymitis means it is the inflammation of the epididymis and uh, prostatitis uh, means it is the inflammation of the uh, prostate see you can see here the every uh, disease here is ends with uh, tics tis tis if it is ends with tis it is a uh, inflammation okay that is the key point uh, one i would like to mention here uh, here you can uh, use this trick during the competitive exams okay uh, if it is ends with tis this is usually a uh, inflammation okay uh, in case of females it produces a se severe um, protrutic vaginitis it is the infection of the vagina and uh, there will be uh, there will may be a cervical erosion and it also causes the endo uh, endometritis means it is the infection of the endometrium and there will be a uh, pyosalpinix means it is the distension of the fallopian tube with the pus can um, there is a enlargement of the fallopian tube with the pus like uh, uh, filled uh, pimples you can say and it it will also causes the uh, infertility in case of females and in infants it is called as uh, it causes neonatal pneumonia and uh, it causes the conjunctivitis okay now we will move on to the prevention how we can control this uh, disease that is trichomoniasis uh, we can control this disease uh, by controlling the parasite that is trichomonas vaginalis so this parasite we know that it go to survive uh, sometimes in a moist environment like such as damp towels under clothes so uh, we have we should uh, use the clean towels which should be washed every time okay and uh, uh, we should take uh, take care of our uh, towels and underclothes that should all be uh, neat and clean uh, but uh, we can control this parasite by this mode but we uh, as i mentioned before this mode of transmission is very rare so how we can again we can control mean uh, because uh, the, this infection is going to transfer from primarily uh, through the sexual intercourse so uh, they uh, so uh, there is a, uh, uh, hence there is need to diagnose and treat the asymptomatic males also okay and simultaneous uh, treatment of both the sexual partners like male and female is uh, is must and we should uh, the persons should avoid uh, sexual contacts with multiple partners and um, Uh, uh, and there should be avoidance of unprotected sexual intercourse uh, and uh, it is uh, uh, should uh, the persons uh, we should means uh, should maintain uh, lower pH of pH of the vagina uh, that is very helpful if you maintain the lower pH of the vagina and um, uh, like uh, while during the sexual intercourse uh, should use the mechanical protections like condoms and uh, at present uh, there is no vaccination available uh, uh, now okay so these are the some of the prevention that how we can control this disease okay that's about this video there uh, have uh, discuss about the uh, life cycle of trichomonas vaginalis and mode of uh, infection and there we discussed pathogenicity symptoms causes and diseases and prevention i hope this video is helpful for you guys and if uh, i will i believe that you learn something from this video and get the benefit of this video and thank you for your all support uh, if you like this video please do uh, subscribe and share thank you everyone